Hi, this is David Dusek from Golf Week Magazine. I'm joined by Corey Consuega from Bridgestone Golf. Corey, how are you doing? Dave, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Cool. Bridgestone's E-Series golf balls have been really successful for the company. You guys have some updates going to it. I've got the E5 right here. Talk to me a little bit about the golf ball that I'm holding. Well, first and foremost, the E5 that's in your hand actually has a very consistent cover with the other three mm -hmm. with the dimple structure. We've added an all-new web dimple. Mm -hmm. What the web dimple allows us to do is to make the golf ball more aerodynamic. In the high-speed region, it's a little flatter trajectory okay. so that the wind conditions don't really blow it around around which could impact your trajectory but it also has our very familiar dual dimple that you're familiar with with mm -hmm. Bridgestone Golf and that the objective there is to actually create a more shallow landing angle so that we get more distance in the low speed region when it's impacting the turf. Gotcha and the dual dimple is a dimple sort of within the dimple um, you've got a bunch of them here but they're sort of inside these other sort of octagon type shapes octagons but hexagonal sort of shapes um, how did you guys sort of come up with this design? What, was there a lot of testing that sort of goes in to find just the right pattern and mix to, to these things? There is. As a matter of fact, we have teams that work on construction, we have teams that work on the core, and we actually have a team that specifically focuses on the dimple. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that, you know, like vehicles, like the most recent auto show, we're looking to make the product more aerodynamic. And by creating more surface coverage with the web dimple, we've done just that. So for this individual, that more penetrating initial flight is actually where a lot of the distance is coming from. Mm -hmm. If the wind doesn't blow it around, your slice, your hook, your high ball flight, or even your low ball flight is not amplified. So that's the benefit of the web dimple. Gotcha. So who specifically is the E5 for? Well, the E5 that's in your hand is a two-piece urethane golf ball. Mm -hmm. You'll find it in the green package. This is engineered for the individual who hits it too low. Okay. And you get the benefit of a two-piece urethane golf ball, which creates more spin. Mm -hmm. You get more carry distance, but the added benefit is when you get around the green, you actually get that tour level control because we actually pulled a tour cover off of one of our premium golf mm -hmm. balls and put it on a two-piece product. So two-piece urethane cover for people who want to hit the ball higher, maybe get a little more carry distance in this particular case. Now you go to E6. Now who's the E6 for? The E6 is for the individual that fights both the hook and the slice. This is okay. a high spin player. And, and the benefit is going to be in accuracy. So we created a three-piece low compression golf ball. Mm -hmm. Unlike the E5, this is a Serlin cover because it's going to be lower spinning. Okay. But it creates accuracy because the compression of the core is really, really soft. And because of that, we reduce spin. When you reduce spin, you reduce your misses. Tighten up the So now we can path. hit more fairways, and which allows you to hopefully increase your scoring opportunities. Okay. And then the e, finally, the E7. What do we got here? How, who is this one for? The E7 is an interesting golf ball. This is also a three-piece construction, but what makes it different from the E6 is that it's more firm. Okay. This is actually going to be designed to create a more penetrating ball flight. Okay. Um, this is a great golf ball if you play in a lot of scrambles and your objective is just to hit it as far as possible. If you're looking for the one guy to really knock it out, though, when he's right. got a friend of his who's going to hit the fairway. Exactly. This is the we, ball. We want to hit short wedges into the green so that we can yep. score and okay. beat the leading group. But this is the three-piece construction golf ball engineered for speed, more penetrating flight. This is the one that actually requires the most precision because it travels so fast. We have to be careful with the limits that have been established for the game. Gotcha. Okay. So basically what you're trying to do with all these different patterns is take a look where do you miss or what do you need help with? And then Bridgestone's trying to basically create a golf ball, the same type of outer pattern uh, we're sort of seeing with this sort of web dimple technology, but based on where you hit it and how you miss it, you're trying to create a golf ball that will basically correct or help out people and get them to play a little better. And you're absolutely right. We've learned through ball fitting that all three of these individuals exist. The, the ones who need higher flight, the ones who need a more penetrating flight, the mm -hmm. ones who need more accuracy. And mm -hmm. ball fitting has allowed us to make the product better. Our engineers have allowed us to create a dimple that is better performing in windy conditions and when airflow is at its highest. So this is a combination of all of Bridgestone's efforts, ball fitting, engineering, um, and product development. Cool. Thanks a lot, Corey, and thank, thank you, you very much. This is David Dusek for Golf Week Magazine. Thanks a lot.